Hey, welcome back everyone, General Cerny here, coming back with a very fun and exciting episode guys. So a couple of days ago I made an announcement on the channel saying that Supercell was allowing us to create our very own troop ideas. So what we're going to do in this video, we are going to go through the top 10 guys which I found the most hilarious and the most unique so far over on the Supercell forums. So if you do enjoy this video guys, make sure to drop a like on the episode and also let me know by the end of the video which one of these top 10 troops is your favorite. I will let you know when my favorite comes up on the screen guys. So here we go, number one, it's gonna be the Death Master. Now this is pretty cool. The Death Masters can actually see hidden bombs and spring traps and all that sort of stuff. So a lot of the troops you are going to see are going to be based upon similar sort of attributes to this guys. A lot of people actually want a troop which can scout a base and check for big, big bombs, you know, Teslas, traps, all that sort of stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are about that. Is that going to be a good thing to bring into the game? Will Supercell ever do that? Or will that be something which is never going to get incorporated? So please do not forget the troop statistics themselves and the description is actually made by fans of the game, guys. So if anything isn't correct or you don't think it's correct, remember, it's just for fun. This is just for fun. So here we go. Now, this is honestly one of my favorite, the Earthworm. I think this is hilarious. Check out the troop description. It says this little worm loves to eat spring traps, but there's a problem. She can only eat one because the traps are too big for her little belly. That is hilarious. Whoever came up with the earthworm idea, massive shout out to them. Now you can see it has one hit point, guys. It costs 50 elixir, training time one second, and damage per second one. So basically this little earthworm only takes out spring traps. Now, of course, that would be something weird to add into the game, but you can kind of, I don't know, you can kind of morph it a little bit. Maybe it could take out spring traps, little bombs. Maybe you can upgrade the earthworm, and eventually it can take out one single big bomb. That would be pretty cool. And there's also the possibility that it could spawn anywhere on the entire map. So these ideas, as I said, are hilarious. Some of them are extremely unique, and I actually like quite a lot of them. So we're going to make our way into troop number three. So this is a very interesting one. Now this guy's actually incorporated the giant. He's got the golem and the pecker into one single troop. Now if you uh, if you actually think about the game, guys, the only real mega troop we have, the mega troops, I would say the pecker's a mega troop, the golem's a mega troop, the lava hound's a mega troop, and possibly the dragon. What about if you incorporated all those troops into one like super mega troop and came up with a troop which costs maybe like 50 housing spaces but does so much damage i'm not sure how it would perform guys maybe it could be like you know a hero very similar to a hero something like this you can incorporate loads of troops powers together maybe you could like you know bring the golem and the pekka together maybe as i said it could cost 50 housing spaces and you could come up with something like a god troop that would definitely be interesting and is most definitely 100 percent unique guys so don't forget if you do want to see a new troop added into the game go ahead and drop a like on this episode if you don't drop a like then no new troop will ever be added let's see if we can get 20,000 likes on this video guys so this is a cool one santa's little nightmare santa's little nightmare sounds awesome and it's actually a wall breaker in disguise. Now, this isn't a new troop. This guy's basically just saying, over Christmas, could we please change the other wall breakers into like little uh, little elf outfits? And I think that would be hilarious. If you want to see that, guys, let me know. What are your thoughts about that? Changing some of the troops over Christmas into, you know, Christmas-themed characters. Santa's little nightmare. Pretty much a wall breaker. So it says these wall breakers dressed up as innocent elves to get revenge on the pesky defenses. Now that's pretty damn awesome. And it's also, uh, obviously you can imagine, you can just imagine there's going to be a Larry's face where the little elf's face is. And uh, Larry's just going to go and, you know, continue to do what he does best and blow up walls. Do not forget, guys, if this is the first time you are seeing the channel, please make sure you subscribe. We are on our way to 1 million subscribers, and we are giving away a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One for the 1 million sub giveaway. All you need to do to enter is simply leave a like on the video to show support to the channel and subscribe to the channel. The giveaway winners will be announced on the 18th of December, so next month. So here we go, guys. Troop number, what is this? Number five, I believe. And it's a beast. Now, I'm going to say straight up, this is too scary, I think, to add into the game. Definitely too scary and definitely looks a little bit too real. Aliens are real, guys. So, uh, obviously, a lot of kids play this game. I don't think Supercell want to scare too many of them, but it definitely looks awesome. And I can honestly see a beast sort of troop being added into the game. Maybe something that looks a bit more like a bear between maybe a bear and a wolf or something like that. Something like this looks cool. 
but I don't think it really has a place. But let's just see what it says. This scary terror has no mercy and basically rules the land. So you're talking about a demon which is going to pretty much destroy all the other troops, guys. So we're going to get ourselves into a troop which you have uh, definitely heard of before. So let's pull this bad boy up on screen. Here we go. It is the Yeti. So the Yeti, and this is a cool one because it's definitely unique, guys. So we've all seen the Yeti before. It was actually suggested to Supercell many years ago now. Check out the description, guys. Get ready for a cold shoulder. The Yeti not only fights like a beast, but also casts uh, as free spells on defenses. So this guy, it could be a very cool support troop. I mean, I can actually imagine incorporating this into an army. Say you've got an army of, I don't know, barbarians and archers, and you have one or two yetis, they're just going to slow down those wizard towers. Maybe they're, they're pretty much the ice wizard, but of COC. And the good thing about it is, it's not copying the ice wizard's look. It's completely different. And a yeti in a game like this would be amazing. There isn't one person I know that wouldn't like to see this troop added into the game. So if you want to see the Yeti, then go ahead and drop a like on the Yeti's video. Yeah, so let's make our way into the next one. Now remember, Supercell said that they want the troop ideas to be original. So check out this one for originality, guys. Here we go. It is the Wolverine, except we're going to change this name. We're going to call it the Barbarine. So we're going to call it Barber. We'll call it, we'll call it Barbara for short. So this is Barbara. Hashtag I love Barbara in that comment section, guys. Check it out. It's basically a barbarian dressed up as Wolverine. Now, this could be very interesting because I know uh, I know, I, I always say I don't like to copy troops from Royale to COC and I don't like to copy troops from COC to Royale. But obviously, Royale are receiving those new elite barbarians. So this could be like the elite barbarian of, uh, of COC. Obviously, you want to keep them different. You don't want them to look the same. So we could kind of maybe attach some uh, some serious weapons to our barbarians inside of clash and uh, they could do some serious damage obviously they're gonna have to cost more housing spaces more damage per second more hit points and more training time and cost but it would bring a new aspect to the game and i'm sure it'd be something that every single person loves so remember a couple of seconds ago guys i said the most popular troop request on the uh, on the forums is actually something which can check for bombs, spring traps, and stuff like that. So check this out. This is the perfect troop, guys. The Scout. So it's quite self-explanatory. We all know what a Scout is. It's something which can actually check, you know, see what's ahead of the pack, see what's ahead of the army. So the Scout, now this is coming in the form of an eagle. Remember, guys, some of the artwork you see inside of this episode may not be the greatest, but you've got to bear in mind... A lot of it's made by young kids, a lot of it is just fan art, so uh, don't don't leave any hate about that in the comment section. So check this out guys, the scout flies around the enemy's base, highlighting traps and hidden defenses. You can set the scout to several different flight patterns and can only be hit by air defenses. However, for the first 5 seconds that the troop is deployed, it can dodge damage dealt by defenses so this is pretty damn awesome they've put some uh, put some real thought into this obviously it does no damage i'm not sure of uh how many troop spaces i would honestly make this cost they say 10 but i think you've got to take it more than 10 but let's move on to the next one for now guys the flame holder so we've got another upgraded barbarian we've gone from a uh, barbara wolverine the uh, the barbara the barbarian to uh, the flame holder so it's pretty much a flamethrower definitely a cool splash damage troop idea so i actually um i don't think we've got a single troop in the game which really does mass splash damage but on low levels maybe you can have a troop like the flamethrower guys maybe it can really do like some serious splash damage to walls to buildings to everything to defenses even things like town halls and eagle artilleries but it also has very high hit points but it just does very low amounts of damage so it's kind of like an earthquake spell but it comes out of a troop. Also, a quick addition to it, maybe the longer it's around, the less damage it does, just like an earthquake spell. The more earthquake spells you do, the less damage they do, and maybe eventually it actually runs out of fuel, and he just takes out a sword like the other barbarians and goes to join the fight, then he gets slayed, and, you know, his little body's dead on the ground. So we're moving on to one of the final ones, guys, and this is the Sensual. So this has been around for decades. It's an awesome one. It's a mix between a hog rider and an archer, kind of. I wouldn't say it's really a mix between a hog rider because it's a horse, guys. But, you know, you can switch it up. You can maybe put a couple of little piggies legs there and take the horse away. And uh, I wouldn't use that character because he looks a little bit a little bit too mean for the game, guys. I don't know, though. I'm not really too sure. Senjo, it's pretty damn unoriginal right now, guys, as is the spider. And the Yeti also kind of is, but they're definitely... The Yeti's got something about it. Yeti's cool. So let me know which one of these 10 guys is your favorite so far. Don't forget the actual... Uh, 
The contest for Supercell's new troop ends on the 21st of September. Sorry, the 21st of uh, November. So you still have seven days. One week today it ends. So don't forget you can still enter that. Leave a like on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you very shortly in a couple of hours time for the next video. Have a great evening, guys. Peace out.